Yes. Is this a recording? We are here on the half duplex Hello, Hello my friends, here is Bayan. In this video we're gonna show you how to install a shower base. We had a bathtub in here, just remove the bathtub and now we're gonna just install a shower base. Just gonna show you nice and easy. First I was to put some more isolation behind this pipe because this is an exterior wall and we didn't have other options so I just gonna loosen up the pipes a bit we just had a little bit tight on the old uh, bathtub we remove it now we're gonna install the shower base patch up the dryer this one in here i just gonna loosen up and i'm gonna put the pole behind the pipe the pole and isolation behind the pipe that way it protect it from freezing this is an exterior wall so it just wants to put uh, some extra isolation in here we have another video how to install the faucet for the shower we'll link it to to this one yeah we can include all the connection for the faucet for the shower thermal isolation this, this is r14 because the wall here is just a by four wall old walls so here in vancouver the new code is a little bit different but this one is the old timer Yes, we're doing the, some isolation here just to protect it against freezing as much as we can. We had the old tub in here, never had a problem before, just wants to do the extra pack. Precaution. We are here in Vancouver, doesn't get that cold, but sometimes just get a cold enough to freeze. Like I say, this bathtub been here for years, never had a problem before. Yes, I'm just put the pole, you see this is the water pipe. We have the isolation in here, that on the old one we didn't have. And we have more isolation behind it. And now I just put the vapor bed, you can see the pipes there, on this side of the vapor barriers. Yes, we have, uh, we put the vapor bear like behind the water pipe, the water line, that way prevent of any freezing and this protect against the moisture from come to the pipe and freezing. I want the poly to go up to the floor two inches. Like, like you can see, it's just going past the floor a little bit. This is a tackle, a uh, hammer. How my staple? This is very good to have. Except we don't have a staple inside of it. I'm just gonna do some thermal acoustic coating here, just to seal it. We need seal it for the moisture not to come in and for the noise too. This is good stuff. Don't get your hands mess. I'm just gonna put some rock in there to make sure that it's gonna be sealed I'm just gonna cut a little bit bigger than this then what I need whatever I have the 2x4 I'm just gonna make a cut in there tuck it in underneath as much as I can now we put duct tape this is a tack tape if uh, it is a vapor barrier. I'm just gonna put whatever we cut the pole, like here we cut the pole. Make sure you're gonna have this sealed, right? Eh? Nice and tight in there. Hello, yes, we have all this in place. We sealed everything off. We put some clips on the pipe so everything is nice and doesn't move. No, I'm just gonna make some holes because I just, once we install the shower base, I'm just gonna use some form from the underneath go to give extra support. I'm just gonna make a few holes here on the floor. That way I can go from underneath and create this expandable form. That way it support the shower bed instead of put concrete. I'm just gonna use the form. i done this many times and it works pretty good. I 
I just made a six five eight hose here on the floor. It is big enough to go in the nose of this uh, spray can, and I could uh, twist a little bit. This should work good. Next, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. I'm just here with the shower drain, just a regular drain. You can see it has a, just have a, the rubber in there and this paper gasket. So it would go very much this way. We put the drain and then we... This paper gasket, make sure it would just go behind this one. The reason is if you guys don't use this when you tighten up this thing uh, makes some curve so this one is just to make sure it's gonna run smooth that way you'll be able to tighten up and no problem. Okay you guys can use plumber pudding or I just uh, gonna use silicone in here silicone sealer. Yes uh, we can use a uh, plumber pudding we use silicone I gonna use the silicone on this one you see I just gonna make sure I got a generous amount of 100% silicone right there just to make sure everything is nice and tight because this part is very important you have this part here sealed the water would just go in and doesn't go underneath so this is very important no we're gonna go this section this one we're gonna go the rubber and the paper gasket I'm just gonna show behind the shower here where the dang gonna go not all the time this is straight so in this case just to make sure not necessary to do some uh, put some uh, silicone or anything down here I'm just gonna put it because this looks a little bit rough I just not want to go back and redo it there go the drain, we have all the silicone. Gonna put this and I'm gonna put the cardboard one right in. You guys can see, we have the ring, right? We're just gonna tighten it up as much as we can with the hand. I am use this nice wrench in here and I'm just gonna hold this uh, part of the drain real tight. You can use a plier too to hold it. Usually with the hand is okay. That's what we need. Nice and tight. We have the silicone like you can see we had in a plant of it. It's just getting out. Like I mentioned, it's not really necessary, but if you have any doubt this is gonna leak, you can still go and silly put some silicone around it. But I am sure we have enough just to show because I believe we have plenty of right now, plenty of silicone in there. The drain is on place, just gonna just clean some excess of silicone that is in here and we have it on place, should be 100% good to go, no leaking. Yes guys, just make sure if you have the plastic to protect the shower, just make sure you remove it around the drain area. The plastic gotta be off when you're doing the drain, otherwise the water would go underneath it and uh, I start leaking. Let's put uh, very simple, this is it's good to have a tube to work with uh, to put it on place but this is very much is one man job can be done just by one person. I show you how to do by one person like uh, it's not very heavy. Something like that, gonna let it go. They are not uh, very heavy. All we're doing here is just gonna move it all that way, that side, and we're gonna level it up. The reason that I'm using self drill screws in here because I just don't want to drill the hole, so I have the screws, I'm just gonna use them. Otherwise, if you use the regular screws without make a drill hole, you could damage the shower base. Self drill screws, the name already say, is just gonna drill the, the hole where it goes in. Yes, uh, we're gonna use this just to install the, to screw the shower base to the stud. Alright, this is what we're doing here. Oh no, I just, I just use this, this lever in here just to check. I have it good in that corner. Oh, once I have that corner in, I would go for this side. Let's see how this side looks. Looks not too bad. I just need to bring this side up a little bit. There 
Alright guys, okay, we have this on place in level. We, we're gonna go down to connect the drain. But before I go down, I will put uh, some weight on this uh, shower base. That way you can do the preform from underneath. So I'm gonna grab some heavy stuff, put in here. That way make sure it's not gonna lift it up. Hello guys, we're done here with the shower. It's nice and level. We're gonna go from underneath on the floor below. On the... Since we're gonna use the spray foam, I'm just gonna put some weight on the shower base. That way foam doesn't expand too hard and lift it up. We need it to be level. So I'm just gonna put some weight in here so it would go down. Okay. This one is about 17 kilo each. Right now we have a weight on it. We're gonna go to underneath, spray some foam and connect the drain. Yes guys, okay. We're down here to connect the drain and put the spray foam. We had it all cut on place. I'm just gonna see if it would fit. We are downstairs on the basement and they need the shower base. Those holes that I made, they are right there. You can see one, two, three on this side and three on the other side. So this is what we're gonna use for. We're gonna, that hole, we're just gonna, for the foam. This is the stuff that we're using. This is to seal the space underneath the bathtub and give some support. So we're just going to spray some amount in there, here, in six spot. That way you have a glove the form. You guys didn't see this yet, just going to show you if you have a gap, something. That is how it looks like. We're going to show you later how much it expands. Okay, let's just put a little bit here and then you guys see how this thing works. Make sure you shake it well. There it is, let's see how much it's gonna expand. We're gonna show you probably in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, just make sure you shake it well. Okay, and then we go pop it on the hole. See, I'm already touched the bottom of the shower, so yeah, I can feel it going out. Yeah, I just gonna make sure I just have uh, two containers. As soon as I have the small amount from top to the bottom of the, the floor, we are good enough support you guys can load uh, quite a bit because it expands here i just calculate i just gonna hold for about uh, one minute for each space but you have to see how tight you are for the floor this one we had about this much space in the bottom of the shower to the floor the amount i count on based on my experience yes i have uh, two cans in here the form and six holes okay i'm just gonna finish up here and uh get back to you once we're done thank you see you in a bit we have a shower shower basin we put the foam, we have a little bit of video that way you guys can see the foam. We include it on this video and uh, now we're just gonna let it sit here. Foam will still continue to expand on the next 24 hours to cure. So we're just gonna leave the weight in here that way it doesn't lift up the shower base. And then we're gonna test it with water. We're just gonna be done with it. I'm sure not gonna be any leaking because we've done this many times and works very good. Check our playlist. We have a progress feed. Please subscribe to see those. And we also include the link to the playlist on this video. Thank you very much to watch it. And uh, I love you guys. See you next time. See you in the next video. If you have more questions about this tutorial, please let us know in the comment. And um, we will answer you. It would be our pleasure. See you soon.